We requested this morning's meeting following further deterioration of the situation in Myanmar. As of today, more than 50 people have been killed and many more injured since the coup began. Over a thousand people have disappeared or are unaccounted for. The economy is in a state of a deterioration and up to a million people face a humanitarian crisis. We heard from the special envoy that the Security Council and indeed the international community more broadly has a collective responsibility to safeguard the democratic aspirations of the people of Myanmar. The United Kingdom condemns the use of violence against peaceful protesters, calls for the immediate cessation of violence and for those responsible to be held account. Working with partners, the UK has recently sanctioned nine military officers, including the commander in chief, for their role in the coup. We've also, as you know, conducted reviews of trade and aid to Myanmar. We'll be exploring further national sanctions and stand ready to consider possible measures under the UN Charter should the deterioration, the situation deteriorate further. We reiterate our calls on the Tatmadaw to respect the rule of law, to release all of those arbitrarily detained, lift the state of emergency and all restrictions on rights and freedom with immediate effect. The United Kingdom supports the role of regional organizations, in particular ASEAN, in resolving the crisis. We'll continue to monitor closely the situation in Myanmar and consider further action through the Security Council in the coming days. Thank you.